So there's always mad rumours around Wireless Festival, and this year was no different. Apparently DJ Khaled was being replaced by Drake, so I hopped on Snapchat just to check. Fresh out that gym. About to go in the steam room. Yeah, he's not coming to London for shit. Now as far as most of us are concerned, Drake is pretty much an honorary British citizen. He's been wearing Stone Island for years, got a BBK tattoo, and he's just dropped a Link Up TV. So he's pretty much bagged that Roadman MVQ level 3. I wanted to put his Britishness to the test and see whether he knew the answer to a question that every British gent should know. Is it coming out? Man's never been banned from Britain for life if you don't know the answer. Trust me, daddy. The time is here, time is now. No more jumbi, I said it on pow. I ain't gonna fool myself when I know what I'm worth. Got a view like Simon Cow. So we got a flag. Your boy Russell Toby and Toast Malone. I'll show them when I rise above the new bar, no stress, 100% no less, I'm a titan I've got a follow in London to Brighton, good fans are bad fans, I've never liked, ignore them I've decided, none of them ain't done the work that I did, no I want to see if Drake knows that he's coming home, and there's only one way to do that That's to sneak in, get backstage, and pop the question Going to meet Jamie, the Mancunian with a plan Mad, mad Let's see how it goes So with Jamie's confidence levels at an all-time high, we got our high visas out and stepped straight towards security. So far so good, we got in easy and Jamie learned to milli rock from some of the best. All we needed to do now was scope out the route backstage, so we took our passes and headed towards the VIP. At this point, we were split up. Jamie ran off into the crowd, but with the tightest security we've ever experienced, they now knew to look for fake passes. Hope was slipping by the second, and I was lost, alone, and scared, wandering around VIP like an idiot, until I saw a familiar face that offered a slither of hope. Right, my light com has come through so, with a VHS camera. I finally get to no. meet you. I knew if there was going to be one place that like you would be here. He literally, he grabs me when I was walking by and he's gone. Yeah. i got a gift for you. <laughs> Legitimate for once. So with Mr Pimp Juice allowed me to use his pass for one set, I now had a chance to scope out the backstage. So I joined the back of the photographers just in time and went with the flow. Now there's a point in most videos where we realise whether the plan has worked, but at this point, Getting backstage on my own accord was looking unlikely. Wireless had it locked down pretty well and without any wristband or pass that would work, I was screwed. We were being escorted to the side of the stage when I noticed a white package on the floor. I swooped down, low-key picked it up and as if the fucking stars aligned, I could not believe what was in my hand. Five Drake backstage wristbands. Someone has fucked up big here, and I was the one to profit. What the fuck are the chances of that? New development, new development. The legit ones, yeah. Yeah, I mean, looks like everyone else has got one. I started asking myself questions as I walked to the side of the stage. Why me? Was this God's plan? The law of attraction? Well, Asking you shall receive, and I was there to ask a question on behalf of the English people. At this point, I couldn't believe it. I was on cloud nine, like my life was a fucking chess game and I'm moving all the pieces. I was out here creating stories for my unborn grandkids. So 
So with Jamie taking desperate measures to make new friends and Pimp Juice wanting his pass back, I decided to go find Jamie to find out his side of the story. Well, like a dickhead. So with Jamie nearly being nabbed already, he wasn't in a good mood. Especially because I left him alone, hungover, and to fend for himself while I went off. With that in mind, we headed to the other entrance to try our luck. And like the good friend I am, I let him test the waters. And until five minutes later he gets kicked out. With our confidence at an all time low, we grabbed a few medicine beers and figured out a plan which went as follows. Chill out, watch gigs and Drake from the crowd, and when the madness ensues of everyone getting out, slip through the net and get backstage to the after party. It's always better from the crowd anyway. Bitch, know that I've been through your bits. Carol, your whole heart, I've been through your bits. You know I know, cause I know she took a lot of shit. I said I don't want to know when I. And as soon as I heard Drake say, Come on, England! I knew it was game on. We made our way through the crowd, put on our high vis jackets, and followed a group through the gates. We headed towards the backstage path I took earlier. <laughs> and with some weird stroke of luck, Little Pump and his crew were coming out at the same time. They decided not to leave and turned back towards the backstage party area. So we followed. Would our Drake wristbands work? Will I get the interview with Drake? It was all coming into question. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry? No, no, no. You need a. I've got that. Perfect. Cheers. Well, that was easy. As soon as we got in, we realised Drake had a separate, more exclusive area in the backstage bit. And and all that stood between us and the interview was eight beefy security guards. It was time to put the wristbands to the test. I'd been for the amount of shit that day just to get backstage, and I was going to ask Drake whether he thought he was coming home. Fuck. Well, we couldn't find Drake, but still backstage and there was shitloads of stuff to do, so. For a bit. I'm gonna have a fucking shower, man. Are you actually gonna have a shower? Yeah, I'm actually gonna have a shower at wireless because why the fuck not? Yeah, can I use this as a towel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking idiots having a shower at wireless. Fucking idiot, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck? Lowercase. Lowercase. Oh. It's a casting couch, that. Hey, fucking that pop fake porn star. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, casting couch. You don't even know the names. Um, oh, Alright, what's your name? Samantha, and I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> get, get your ass out, Samantha. Okay. Should we go and draw your friends in there? Be loud with it. Come on, you. Yeah, you can't get rid of me now. <laughs> So this is this is what we had. Like wireless fast, triple A. <laughs> Someone fucked up real bad. <laughs> Should we get up on stage? <laughs> Give me that hat back, you dick. Oh, you should be interviewing someone. Yeah, yeah, 
Harry, let's interview someone. Yeah, what's your role here at the moment? Um, lights and sound. Lights into and the mic, Into the mic, sorry. Yeah. yeah, and how was it? How do you think the day went? Um, pretty well, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, pretty yeah. well. Other than the heat. Other yeah. than the heat, yeah, fair news. It was pretty hot, wasn't it? Yeah. Does that affect the sound at all? Um, not really. No. no. Not that I know of, anyway. Yeah, fair. Yeah, any any other questions that, that you'd like to? Is football coming home? Fucking hell. <laughs> 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 what do you think of Drake's set? It's fucking out of this world, mate. I yeah. feel like, like, mate, it's Drake, innit? Come on, man. You only done like two, two songs or something, innit? But you done, done alright. I didn't see none of it. Is it coming home? Definitely is, mate. Fucking is it coming home? Yeah, it's coming home. Man. Is it coming home? 50 years of hurt. It's coming home. Nah, 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 nah. That's why is it shit? You get electrocuted. Honestly, mate. Honestly, you get electrocuted and shit. I'm not about that life. Fuck it, I am about that life. Scorpion. Light work. We go again. Normal. I'm fucked. I could go on forever, mate. Fifty found dead underneath the stage. <laughs> that is it, that is the video, another absolutely mad day out. Literally just goes to prove what is possible when you just try and fucking have a blast. We, we didn't get the interview with Drake, but it doesn't necessarily matter because we had a sick day and we created some more stories to tell the grandkids, memories that will last forever. I'm going to be the coolest fucking granddad. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, it helps more than you think. And if you are new around here, subscribe if you want to see more shit like this. Nice one. Yo, I got this thing from London, West London, Chelsea, near King's Road. She don't care about my area, cause she's about that shit.